our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? Matchup of Southpaws here. There's a nice knee to the body. Lands a kick, Joe. Oh, nice combination of kicks there by Lee. And he eats a high one. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. That's a nice clean shot. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. He's down. Hard straight punch. Nice leg kick. Hurt him with that spinning back. We got a fight, folks. Oh, big left. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some... Whoa! Oh! He's definitely hurt. center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Landing a good series of strikes here. Nice knee to the body. Big kick, but miss. Finds his range with the jab. Good exchange there. Boy, Ty Plum. He's got the double. And he pummels out of it. Nice punch by Lee. He lands the kick to the body there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Clean, straight punch. Lands a big left counter. Oh, straight right. What a wild exchange. Oh! Vicious combinations. Oh, nice. Body kick, look at that. Hard spinning back fist. Left kick to the body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. I like the way he mixed that up here. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Oh! He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Leg kick. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even further. So let's see if he can preserve some stamina and try to figure out a way to get back in this fight. And he lands a nice kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, the hook lands. He's taking some shots now. Oh, he missed that 
high kick. Slips the punch. It appears that cut is getting worse. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Oh, head kick blocked by Lee. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh! And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he landed it. Tying him up here in the clinch. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh! <laughs> Establishing the jab here. Round two is next. Let's see some of the action here. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Very impressive striking going on in that round. Ariane Celeste on hand. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. He gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here, though. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice inside leg kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, no one's going to accuse him of being a headhunter here tonight. You see the stats bottom of your screen in terms of the body strikes landed, and those are really starting to pile up now. And, Joe, you got to think a lot of damage has been done as well, so perhaps you get an attritive knockout here late in the fight. We'll see. But the body work has been on point here tonight. Absolutely. How about that shin? He's looking for that left hand. Not there. That one hurt. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Punishing kick there. Great angle here. Boom. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliante has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Asa. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends.